All right, stop and watch this striking footage. The U.S. dropping 40 tons of explosives on what they're calling an ISIS-infested island in Iraq. The move effectively decimating the terrorist stronghold in an effort to stop the flow of fighters from Syria. And while much attention is focused the war on terror in the Middle East, the U.S. military is working all around the world to keep us safe at home, which we know. Here to discuss that is Commander for the Air Force in Europe and Africa, four-star general, Jeffrey Harrigan. General, thanks so much for being here. Hey, thanks. It's great to be um, so here. So if you would specifically, you know, a lot of our eyes have averted away from Iraq and Syria mm -hmm. because the caliphate was largely decimated, but there's still a big role for the Air Force there. Certainly. As uh, the operations have continued there, we play a critical role in not only developing targets and managing the overarching air component activities, but stay closely linked with our partners across um, Iraq and in the theater. So as we, as we pull boots on the ground out, does that increase the, the amount of effort the Air Force puts in? Well, certainly we want to stay synchronized with our partners on the ground. Job one is to ensure we're there to protect them. And certainly as we move forward, we will ensure that our objectives to support our guys on the ground and our partners are completely aligned. Meaning Iraqis, Afghans, and any partners Correct. that we're working with. Speaking of Afghanistan, we just got, a, we just got news here at the Fox News Channel, a, a release put out by the White House. Hamza bin Laden, the high-ranking Al-Qaeda member, son of Osama bin Laden, confirmed killed in a U.S. counterterrorism operation in the Afghanistan-Pakistan region. Uh, General, your reaction to the fact that Hamza bin Laden, son of Osama bin Laden, had been hoping to take the reins from his father, now killed by the U.S. At, in that region? Well, I think it's uh, another indication of the quality of work that we do collectively downrange to continue to pressure those that would threaten our homeland. And this is just one more indication that we have not taken our foot off the, the pedal in terms of delivering that pressure to take care of those that would harm our homeland. How critical has that been, General? Because we're having discussions about, you know, ending wars in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. shifting priorities in different places, staying on the offense in whatever form that manifests. How s important is that in deterring attacks on our own homeland? I think it's incredibly important is the uh, capability that our Air Force brings in terms of the eyes and ears, that intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance that allows us to understand the dynamics of what's occurring mm -hmm. is critically important to executing exactly what you talked about. Absolutely. Last exit question, these other big looming threats like China, um, what, what, I mean, you can talk about the Air Force and the military generally, what right. are we doing to throw our weight around and prevent them from expanding their influence? I think importantly, we're competing and we're doing that by number one, being there, uh, working cooperatively with our partners and demonstrating that we're ready and if required, we're going to execute. I have no doubt you've got the Air Force ready. General Jeffrey Harrigan, thank you very much. And you're going to do an oath of enlistment for us. That'll be great. Looking forward to it. And we're not going to boo. No, we're not. <laughs> for sure. Thanks. General, great. thanks a lot. Good Appreciate to meet you. your time.